And as the March primaries are inching closer, the Smith County Republican Club is hosting a forum tonight that will give candidates an opportunity to speak to potential voters ahead of the election. Fox 51's Nolan Hoffman joins us in studio now and has more on what we can expect. Nolan. Annabelle, with early voting set to begin on February 20th, candidates in state and local races are continuing to make their voices heard. I thank you. We need your votes. Races are heating up around East Texas because in less than a month, voters will be showing up for the March primaries. America first, Texas first. Economic the Smith County Republican Party gave the opportunity for some candidates to give their perspective once again, featuring those running for House District 5, District 6, and Smith County Republican Chair. I have served my country and I want to for House District 5, Dewey Collier was the lone candidate to attend the forum. He spoke on issues that matter to him that included securing the border by using giant sandbags to help slow things down. It's a very simple system, very cheap, very cost effective. David Stein, who's trying to remain the Smith County Republican chair, said he wants to make the effort to bring younger people to the Republican Party. We need that young blood and you need not be afraid to come to some of us old folks and just say, look, I really want to get involved. His challenger, Kevin McCall, said fixing some of the country's most pressing issues could help make the Republican Party more diverse. You have to get a hold of the border situation. It's all about the economic empowerment. Once they see that they can derive it, uh, it will raise all votes. House District 6 candidate Daniel Alders also made his case tonight to get elected. And one of the other District 5 candidates, Jeff Fletcher, was supposed to attend the forum tonight, but it was announced that he was in the hospital because of the flu. Early voting for the primary starts on February 20th, and primary elections are set for March 5th. In studio, Nolan Huffman, Fox 51 News.